Hello, welcome to this video. We thought we would do a quick one just on the starting of Scots. Um, they can have a terrible reputation for not starting very well. So we just wanted to put that right and say that if the bike's set up well, uh, they start just fine. So here we are, watch this. So this is my grandfather's 29 TT replica, uh, Leon's great grandfather's, the one that started it all for us. Uh, we've just done a top end rebuild this winter on this engine because it was getting rather worn. Uh, we did a full bottom end rebuild on it including moss cranks about 3-4 years ago. Uh, so what we did this winter is we pulled the barrels off, reboard it, uh, made new pistons uh, which we do in house ourselves, you can buy those on our website. Uh, new set of gaskets, uh, checked it for leaks and such like, everything was good. Uh, we put it back together, uh, re-timed it, we put new main jet, um, new main jet, new idle jet, new needle jet in the carb, um, cleaned the carb out um, and that's it. The fuel's been sat in the bike for six months, um, we haven't done anything else to it and we fired it up today for the first time after the rebuild. So here you are, you can watch this and you can see how we get on. Obviously the engine's not running yet. It's only been run for the couple of minutes in these videos and it'll get better as it gets run in. What's the date? It's 11th or 12th of March, isn't it? 11th, thank you. Yep, here's George, he's nice and cold. What have we done? Um, top end, completely. Top end rebuild. Let's let it down. See if it works.
time, and every single time we only get one or two. What was the question? Well, it's starting two kicks. What's the answer? Yes. You're starting one. <laughs> Job done. So we'll just wait for the seats to come back for this. Um, because they're away being recovered. And I think George is ready for running in. Let's do it. We just need a thousand miles on it, that's all. Sounds lovely. <laughs>